subscribe and download over 1 million code snippet including this tutorial from codegive.com, link in the description below. Certainly. It seems there might be a confusion in your request. The standard way to install pip on Python 3.6 is by using the insurepip module, which is included in Python 3.4 and later versions. However, if you are referring to a specific tool named getpip.py, please provide more details so I can offer accurate assistance. Assuming you want to install pip using the insurepip module, here is a tutorial. Make sure you have Python 3.6 installed on your system. You can check your Python version by running the following command in your terminal or command prompt. Python 3.4 and later versions come with insurepip module, which can be used to install pip. Run the following command. This command installs pip and ensures that it is the default version. To confirm that pip is installed successfully, run. This should display the installed pip version. If you specifically want to use get-pip.py for Python 3.6, you can follow these steps. Download the get-pip.py script using the following command. Execute the script to install pip. This will install the latest version of pip for Python 3.6. Confirm that pip is installed successfully. This should display the installed pip version. Keep in mind that using insurepip is the recommended method, as it is part of the Python standard library. However, if you have specific reasons to use get-pip.py, you can follow the steps outlined above. Chat GPT Certainly. To install get-pip.py for Python 3.6, you can follow these steps. Step 1, Download get-pip.py Open your web browser and navigate to the official Python website. Right-click on the page and choose Save Page as to save the file to your computer. Step 2, Open a command prompt or terminal. Open a command prompt or terminal on your computer. You can do this by searching for command prompt on Windows or using the terminal on Mac OS Linux. Step 3, navigate to the directory where you saved get-pip.py. Use the cd command to navigate to the directory where you saved get-pip.py. For example, replace path slash to slash directory with the actual path to the directory where you saved the file. Step 4, run the script. Use the following command to run the get-pip.py script. Note. If you have multiple versions of Python installed, you may need to use Python 3 instead of Python in the command. This command will execute the get-pip.py script, which will download and install the latest version of pip for your Python installation. Here's a brief breakdown of the steps. Example. Once the installation is complete, you should have pip installed for your Python 3.6 version. Note, make sure that Python 3.6 is installed on your system before running these commands. If you encounter any issues, ensure that Python is in your system's path and that you have the necessary permissions to install packages. Chat GPT Certainly. To install get-pip.py for Python 3.6, you can follow these steps. Get-pip.py is a Python script that installs pip, the package installer for Python. Step 1, Download Get-pip.py Open your web browser and go to the following URL to download the Get-pip.py script. https colon slash slash bootstrap.pypa.io slash get hyphen pip.py You can use your browser to save the file or you can use a command line tool like ogit or curl. For example, using ogit. Or using curl. Step 2, open a terminal or command prompt. Open a terminal or command prompt on your system. Step 3, navigate to the directory where get-pip.py is located. 
Use the cd command to navigate to the directory where you downloaded get-pip.py. For example, Step 4, run the get-pip.py script. Run the following command to execute the get-pip.py script. If you're on Windows, you might need to use Python instead of Python 3.6. This will download and install the latest version of pip for Python 3.6. Step 5, Verify the installation. After the installation is complete, you can verify that pip is installed correctly by running the following commands. Or on Windows. This should display the version number of pip and its associated Python version. Now you have successfully installed pip for Python 3.6 using the get-pip.py script. You can use pip to install Python packages and manage your project dependencies. Chat GPT Certainly. It seems there's a slight confusion in your request. There is no tool called getpippy. However, I'll provide you with a tutorial on how to install pip for Python 3.6, which is the package installer for Python. Title Installing PIP for Python 3.6 Introduction PIP is the package installer for Python, allowing you to easily install and manage Python packages. If you are using Python 3.6, PIP should already be included. However, if for any reason it's not available, you can follow the steps below to install PIP for Python 3.6. Step 1 Check if pip is installed. Open a terminal or command prompt and type the following command to check if pip is already installed. If pip is installed, you will see its version number. If not, you'll need to proceed with the installation. Step 2. Download get-pip.py script. Download the get-pip.py script, which is a Python script that will bootstrap the installation of pip. You can download it using curl or ogit from the terminal slash command prompt. Using curl. Using ogit. Step 3, run the script. Now that you have the get-pip.py script, run it with your Python 3.6 interpreter. This command will execute the script and install pip along with any necessary dependencies. Step 4, verify the installation. After the installation is complete, verify that pip is now installed by checking its version. You should see the version number of the installed pip. Conclusion Congratulations! You have successfully installed pip for Python 3.6 using the get-pip.py script. You can now use pip to install and manage Python packages on your system. If you encounter any issues, Make sure to check the Python and pip documentation for troubleshooting. Chat GPT Certainly. If you're using Python 3.6 and need to install pip, the package installer for Python, you can use the get-pip.py script. Here's a step-by-step -step tutorial with code examples. Open your terminal or command prompt. You can find it by searching for command prompt on Windows or using the terminal on Linux slash Mac OS. You can download the get-pip.py script from the official Python website. Use the following command to download it. Or using ogit. This command fetches the latest version of get-pip.py and saves it in the current directory. Now, execute the script to install pip. Make sure you have Python 3.6 installed on your system. This command runs the get-pip.py script using Python 3.6. If you just use Python, it might use a different Python version. Once the installation is complete, you can verify that pip is installed correctly by checking its version. This command should display the version number of the installed pip. Here's a quick recap of the commands. That's it. You've successfully installed pip for Python 3.6 using the get-pip.py script. 
Now you can use pip to install Python packages and manage your project dependencies. Chat GPT Certainly. It seems like you might be referring to installing get-pip.py to get the pip package manager for Python 3.6. Below is a step-by-step -step tutorial with code examples. Ensure that you have Python 3.6 installed on your system. Open a terminal or command prompt and type the following command. If Python 3.6 is not installed, you can download it from the official Python website. You can download get-pip.py from the official get-pip.py GitHub repository. Navigate to the repository, and click on the get-pip.py file. Save it to your local machine. Alternatively, you can use the curl command, on Unix-like systems, or invoke web request, on Windows, to download it directly. Open your terminal or command prompt and run. Now that you have the get-pip.py script, run it using the Python interpreter. This command will execute the script and install pip for Python 3.6. After the installation is complete, you can verify that pip is installed by checking its version. This should display the version of pip installed for Python 3.6. Congratulations! You've successfully installed pip for Python 3.6 using the get-pip.py script. Now you can use pip to install Python packages for your projects. Chat GPT to download and install get-pip.py for Python 3.6, you can follow the steps outlined in this tutorial. Get-pip.py is a Python script that allows you to easily install the pip package manager. Step 1, Download get-pip.py Visit the official get-pip.py page on GitHub and download the get-pip.py script. You can do this by clicking on the raw button on the GitHub page and saving the file to your computer. Alternatively, you can use the following command to download get-pip.py using the command line. Step 2. Open a command prompt or terminal. Open a command prompt on Windows or a terminal on Linux slash Mac OS. Make sure you have Python 3.6 installed on your system. Step 3. Navigate to the directory containing get-pip.py. Use the cd command to navigate to the directory where you downloaded get-pip.py. For example, replace path slash to slash directory with the actual path to the directory containing get-pip.py. Step 4, run get-pip.py. Now, you can use the following command to run the get-pip.py script. If you have multiple versions of Python installed on your system, you might need to use Python 3 instead of Python. Step 5, Verify the installation. Once the script has finished running, you can verify the installation of pip by checking its version. Run the following command. This should display the version of pip installed. Step 6, Upgrade pip, optional. It's a good practice to upgrade pip to the latest version. Run the following command. This will ensure you have the latest version of pip installed. Congratulations! You have successfully downloaded and installed get-pip.py for Python 3.6. Now you can use pip to install Python packages and manage your Python environment. Chat GPT Certainly. To download get-pip.py for Python 3.6 and install pip, you can follow the steps below. First, ensure that you have Python 3.6 installed on your system. Open your web browser and go to the following URL to download get-pip.py. https colon slash slash bootstrap.pypa.io slash get hyphen pip.py Right-click on the page and select Save as to download get-pip.py. Choose a location on your computer to save the file. Open a terminal or command prompt on your computer. 
navigate to the directory where you saved get-pip.py using the cd command. For example, replace path slash to slash directory with the actual path to the directory where you saved get-pip.py. Run the following command to execute the get-pip.py script. If you have both Python 2 and Python 3 installed, you may need to use Python 3 instead. After the script completes, you can verify the installation by checking the version of pip. This should display the version number of pip, indicating a successful installation. Here is a simple Python script that automates the process. Save this script as install underscore pip.py and run it using python install underscore pip.py. Remember to replace python with python3 if needed. This script downloads get-pip.py, runs it, and then verifies the installation of pip. Chat GPT Title, Installing pip for python 3.6 using get-pip.py, a step-by-step -step tutorial. Introduction PIP is a package management system for Python that simplifies the process of installing and managing third-party libraries. If you are using Python 3.6 and don't have PIP installed, you can use the get-pip.py script to easily install PIP. This tutorial will guide you through the process step by step. Step 1. Download get-pip.py First, you need to download the get-pip.py script. Open your web browser and navigate to https colon slash slash bootstrap.pypa.io slash get hyphen pip.py. Right click on the page and choose save page as or save link as to save the file to your local machine. Step 2. Open a terminal or command prompt. Open a terminal or command prompt on your computer. You can do this by searching for command prompt or terminal in the start menu or using the run dialog, Windows key plus R. Step 3, navigate to the directory containing get-pip.py. Use the cd command to navigate to the directory where you saved get-pip.py. For example, if you saved the file in your downloads folder, you can use the following command. Step 4. Run the get-pip.py script. Once you are in the correct directory, run the get-pip.py script using the Python interpreter. Use the following command. Note, on some systems, you may need to use Python 3 instead of Python. Step 5, verify the installation. After the script completes, you should have pip installed on your system. You can verify this by checking the pip version. This should display the version number of pip, indicating that the installation was successful. Conclusion Congratulations! You have successfully installed pip for Python 3.6 using the get-pip.py script. You can now use pip to easily install and manage Python packages for your projects. If you encounter any issues, Double check the steps and ensure that your Python version is 3.6 or later. Chat GPT Certainly. Before we begin, let's clarify that as of my last knowledge update in January 2022, Python 3.6 is an outdated version, and it's recommended to use a more recent version due to security updates and new features. However, if you have specific reasons to use Python 3.6, you can follow these steps to install pip using get-pip.py. Open your web browser and navigate to the official get-pip.py page. Right-click on the page and choose Save as to download the get-pip.py script. Save it to a location on your computer. Open your command line interface. This can be the command prompt on Windows, terminal on Mac OS slash Linux, or any other similar tool. Use the cd command to navigate to the directory where you saved get-pip.py. For example, if you saved it on your desktop, the command might look like this. 
run the get-pip.py script using the Python interpreter. Since you are using Python 3.6, the command will look like this. If you have multiple Python versions installed, you might need to use Python 3 instead. After the script finishes, you can verify that pip is installed by checking its version. Run the following command. This should display the installed pip version. That's it. You've successfully installed pip for Python 3.6 using the get-pip.py script. Remember to consider upgrading your Python version to a more recent release for better security and support. ChatGPT